Hello. The holidays are here and everyone's looking for the best deal in this week's mom live show. You are going to learn how to choose a winning holiday offer that makes money. You learn seven essential tips that will help you make more sales and boost your bottom line. If you are here joining us live, welcome. Glad to have you. Drop the hashtag live in the comments, hashtag replay if you're watching the replay, and be sure to get your pen and paper ready or your um, note-taking digital device so that you can get all the scoop today about these holiday promotions. I am Rashida Green. I am the founder and CEO of Get Right Coaching. I am the host of this wonderful community, Mompreneur HQ. When we help moms who are determined to gain time, money, and location freedom to start an online business so that they can build the life of their dreams without neglecting themselves or their families in the process. And we do that through coaching, content, and community. So if you are a part of the Mompreneur HQ community, welcome again and thank you for joining us live. And if you're not and just happen to be passing through and catch this on any of the digital platforms that we're streaming from today, I just like to say hi and come on over and join the Mompreneur HQ Facebook, private Facebook group where you will find your BFFs. That's business finances, family, and self-care. And we like to provide you with all of those topics. And going forward for 2023, our main goal is to help you start a passive income project. So a side business that you can build once and, and make passive income from. Now, remember in this community, passive does not mean you don't do anything. It just means you don't have to do a lot. Okay, so again, we are talking about the holidays and the holidays, they present a unique opportunity for online entrepreneurs like myself to increase our income. But before proceeding, you'll need to decide which holidays you want to target. Surprisingly, there are more shopping holidays than many people realize, especially in the U.S. between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. Once you know which holidays you want to create promotions for, it's time to decide what to offer. There are plenty of options and what you offer depends on your company and your business style. So what do these offers look like? And we can't name them all, but generally you can just have an offer you already have. Again, that's something that's maybe a limited time only discount on coaching services, on digital products that you have, and using an offer you already have is easy and you have the advantage of knowing that people really already want it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. A new offer you put together with content you already have. If you see the theme here, something you already have, but then you bundle it together, a bundle of your most popular products together at a special price. If you have a calendar, a planner that you sell and a journal that you sell, you can put them together. You're not recreating it, but you're putting them together and maybe put it, making them a bundle. If you buy both of them together, you get a discount. Bundles grab a customer's attention and make them more willing to spend so that they can get the deal. Then the last type of offer I would mention is a brand new offer. Now, listen, sometimes you want to don't want to do a brand new offer at the holiday times because yeah, it's, it could be that you're testing it out. And because it's holiday season, it's compounded on you when you're like, oh, I'm anxious because it's new. I'm anxious because I'm looking to sell it. And then it doesn't sell. And then you're like, it didn't work because it's just the garbage product. Or it could just be the timing or it could be anything literally, but because you did two things at one time, right? You build a new product and you put it out on a holiday. Didn't really do a chance, but do have time or do significant beta testing. Things like that could be why it may or may not go well. 
but it is still an option. Hey, if you know your audience and you know what they want and you're tuned in and they've already said, hey, I want to have this product and you didn't have it before and you create it, guess what? You already know you have an audience because you know your people. So having a brand new offer might just be something that you can try for the holidays. It's a unique sell or promotion can bring in new customers and also generate a lot of hype. You can also offer gift cards. Depending on your business model, gift cards may work. If you have an online store or you have a plethora of online programs, if you're a coach or online course creator or something to that effect, you can also give these gift cards to your friends and tell them to share it with people who may be interested. Gift cards are great around the holidays because they make shopping for someone else easy. Another idea is BOGO. Back in the day, there was this store. I didn't know what BOGO was, but there was this shoe store called Payless. If you Payless, <laughs> hashtag Payless, if you remember Payless back in the day. And they always said BOGO. And so I was like, what is BOGO? Is that the name of the shoe? Like, what is BOGO? But BOGO basically means buy one, get one. So it could be buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one 50% off. Buy one, get one at a discount of some sort. Um, and so that is when you buy this program and get this one as a gift for a friend. So it's that two, four, two for one, three for one, or whatever, three for five, whatever, those types of deals. BOGO sales are some of the most popular sales during the holidays. And they can also draw in customers who might be sitting on the fence, teeter tottering about whether or not to purchase something with you. Another option would be a live event, a one day sale, right? A one day only sale where customers can get a discount or incentive for buying during a specific time frame. You can say 24 hours and you, if in the next 24 hours or only this limited time offer for the next 24 hours, you can get 50% off of anything in your digital product shop or a 50% off of a specific thing. Either way, live events create excitement and a sense of urgency that makes people scramble to get in on the deal, which means more sales for you, all right? With so many sale options out there, deciding on the right one can be hard. So you want to start by thinking about what your audience truly needs. And here are the most important things to think about when choosing a promotion or sale for the holidays. And before I go there, I feel like I just jumped on in today. But if you don't already know, we are talking about today how to create a winning holiday offer that makes money. And these tips that I'm going to give you are things that you really need to consider before making choosing your promotional sale for the holidays. And when you get these tips, if you can get all of the seven tips and really examine them and answer them for yourself and your potential promotion, then what you'll likely have is an offer that people will want. And people may have already proven that they want it. So let's get into it. Number one, I want you to consider the holiday theme. Take the season and holiday into account. It can help you give the offer a name, color scheme, overall concept. If you have a holiday theme that you're working with, that takes out some of the guesswork, right? If you think Halloween, you think orange, black, pumpkins, and so forth. If you think of Christmas, some people think of Santa Claus, others might think of Christ. So you might see some crosses and some holly and some doves and some nativity scenes. And you may have some sleighs and some reindeer, right? So having that as a theme kind of already gives you colors and it already gives you elements that you can use for your promotion. And aside from being tons of fun, a holiday theme will give your clients a reason or shall I say excuse to splurge. For two, know your customers. Knowing your target customers is key to giving them an offer they can't resist, right? So we always hear that irresistible offer. If your ideal clients are time-strapped entrepreneurs, a series of splits 
might make more sense and actually may sell better than an ebook or a seminar, especially around a busy time of December, right? They have too many things going on as it is. And so the ebook or seminar that's going to be a five day, three day seminar work or workshop series, it may be too much during that holiday season. But again, if you know your clientele, your customer, if that's what they're into and you already know that, then go right ahead. I'm not saying that you don't do it. Just know your customers and what will work for them. Number three, I want you to customize. Every company has success with different types of offers. So ask yourself, what does my audience want or need that would make a lot of sense to offer, especially during this time of year? Could I easily create it? Is it something that's too hard to do? That's going to take too much time, that plan time? Or can I just get this together? Or is it something that I already have? Do I have time to do all this? It, try to choose a discount promotion or live event that won't take loads of your precious time. Because we are already time strapped, right? We have, we're mompreneurs. We got all these things already going on for us that we don't want to use the holiday season when we're supposed to be spending more time with our family, right? To bog ourselves down with trying to plan out a promotion that's going to be so elaborate that it takes up most of our time. And then we're, everybody's frowning because you're not around because you're trying to do this huge event too short at too short of a notice, right? So also ask yourself, do you already have an offer that fills that need? that I could just put on. So your clients are looking for duvets. Do you already have some duvets that you knitted up or perch pre wholesale that you want to go ahead and put on promotion for the holiday season? Then go ahead and offer those duvets, especially if it's not something that you often put on sale. How about a discount for those duvets? Working with, you, with what you already have saves time and money, and it takes a lot of the guesswork out of your promotions. Another thing you want to ask yourself is what have people been asking for all year, right? You can look at your open rates of your particular emails. You can look at your social media. What are they saying? What are they saying? Look, you can actually do a survey. What do they look at the surveys that you perform throughout the year or the polls that you perform throughout the year and ask yourself, what have they been really saying that they want all year and that you can surprise them with? or gift them for the holidays. Relying on customer feedback and data helps you to find that sweet spot that will lead to successful sales and promotions. All right, number four, we want you to be trendy. Consider the latest trends when creating promotion. Now, when we say, okay, let me not get distracted, but when I say be trendy, I'm not saying do every trend, right? But you want to be relevant for the current times. So what's a hot topic or what do you foresee becoming a hot topic during the holidays? Clients will look at le for the least and greatest offers and items, right? The uh, latest and greatest offers. So they want things that are fresh, new, inspiring, and just really something that gives them the illusion or the allure of being hip, being up to date. And I said, I know that's an old school word, but don't you worry about it. You knew exactly what I was talking about. So it ain't that old. Be sure that you can give them just what they are looking for. Okay. Number five, you want to learn from your competition. I did not say copy. You can pick up a lot from your top competitors. Take a look at your competitors' previously pre previous holiday offers for inspiration. While you don't want to be a copycat, let me say that again, do not copy their material, do not copy their website, do not copy anything. Use it for inspiration. If it's the colors that you like, go ahead and look at the similar colors that give you that same feeling, right? But don't just go, oh, they're using black, red, and white. I'm going to use black, red, and white. Now, some things are holiday specific. So if you have red and green, Everybody pretty much has red and green at Christmas time. So it's not like you're copying that. Do be aware that you don't want to be in a situation where you actually copyright infringing upon, infringing upon anybody's copyright, trademark, or style. Okay. 
you can still look at your competitors, what they're doing, their previous, if, if you can see down the line from their social media, if you can Google 2021 holiday sales or things like that, it can be helpful to see what others in your industry have offered. And either during the same time of year or at other times throughout the year. And that would really help you to gauge on um, what it is that you possibly could be selling or promoting for the holidays this year. Number six, timing is crucial. So you want to make it dropping a great offer in your customer's lap at just the right time and the right moment can get you sales and rake in business. Since we're talking about time, and let's take a look at some suggestions for timely marketing during the holidays. Think about it. November. November is the strongest time of year for business B2C or business to consumer sales and is the official month of gift giving. We got Thanksgiving. It's the official month of gift giving. Even if you don't sell to B2C businesses, can you offer something to your audience who does sell B2C to help them sell more? If your direct client doesn't is, is not related to the product that you sell, and I don't mean it like that. If you know that the clients that you, let me fix this here, I'm trying to think. If you're, if you do systems, for example, you do systems, for coaches and your ideal client are coaches. So you know coaches are doing something, right? They're coaching. And if you're specific enough in your niche and you're saying health coaches, then is there something about your systems that you sell that can be beneficial specifically to the clients of health coaches? Is that think about that? Even though it's not benefiting them directly for the systems, because actually you probably have them in your email list or in your community because of your systems that you help them with, but then offering something that they can use to help their customers, right? Whether that be to build, a, build help them to build an app or something that's going to help them, that will actually be something to consider in November since it's about gift giving, right? In December, gift giving continues and even stronger, right? Think about ways your customers can either gift themselves or gift others. Last minute deals can tempt late minute shopper, last minute shoppers. January is the first month of the new year. And it's all about goal setting, getting off the, over the post, over the post holiday blues. And it's a perfect time to offer special deals on anything that might help your cu customers work on their new year's resolutions as related to your business, of course, and offer your clients coaching, seminars, eBooks, anything related to your business to help them jumpstart the year. So we talked about those post-holiday blues. That can be because they miss their family, spending family time. And that could be because they blew their credit card limit on holiday shopping and travels. So now they have the blues because the check the acts of the new year the bank statement has come in or the credit card statement has come in and now they're like, blues, they're sad. But then there's that that invigorating feeling about a new year. Oh, this is the new year. We're going to get set some goals. We're going to get some things done. And we are gung-ho, which probably lasts to about January 17th, 18th. But still, it is a time, January is goal setting time. So you want to think about those extra seasons or time periods within the time period right, that you can continue on scheduling out your prom promotions so that you still impact your clients and still in or gain income. All right. There's other special dates in January that in including the Chinese New Year, which typically, which is the start of the new year, according to the lunar calendar, celebrated throughout Asia and increasingly now in the U.S. And Blue Monday is actually a holiday, <laughs> believe it or not. It's a holiday to celebrate the mathematically calculated most depressing day of the year. And you would not believe it, but it is mathematically calculated 
and it's the most depressing day out of the year. And it generally falls on the third month of January. Now, I know that there's another holiday that falls on the third Monday of January, which is, I believe, Martin Luther King Day. So I'm really like, wow, it's very curious that it is mathematically collect, con calculated to be the saddest or most depressing day of the year and also the celebration of a great a civil rights leader. You can't help that it's his birthday. Seven, metrics. You also want to set metrics for your campaign, right? Metrics can help you and your team focus on goals and outcomes. So if you are doing a promotion, what are you looking to achieve? What is the ideal outcome of the campaign? Visibility, brand awareness, loyal customers, increased sales. What is it exactly that you are looking to get from this promotion? Will this increase revenue in the long run? If so, how? Will you sell more by discounting? So one of the things people were talking about even now, especially in maybe in, not especially, but in the coaching community, right? Is it necessary to do Black Friday sales on services? Because if the value of the service is what it is, then why, what would be the reason or methodology of discounting your services. And so that would be a question that you would have to ask yourself. Is it worth it? Are you trying to get increased sales? So if you're looking to increase the number of booked calls on your calendar, possibly discounting would work for you. Or are you just trying to get more followers, uh, more people to sign up on your list? Maybe the lead magnet, a free lead magnet We'll, we'll work to do that. It just depends on what your goals are. And you want to know how will this benefit or incentivize your customers? Will they get any benefit of this product that you're promoting for this holiday promotion? Or is it just something you put together, threw together just to try to raise, make some money? Because that's not going, it, it may just backfire on you. You want to take a look at the big picture. And once you do that, this will help you to strategize and build on your previous experience. So if you look at, if you're tracking your metrics, you can look back at 2021 and say, we did good with this. We didn't get do it. I think we should keep going with this and maybe cut this one out. You know what? This didn't just sell on Black Friday. It sold all year at high numbers. So maybe we don't need to discount that because people love it as it is. Unless again, your goal is different. You want to sell more of it right? Then you may go ahead and still do that discount. It's just, it just really depends on what you want to do for the holidays and the, the goal of your promotions. You want to choose the right kind of sale at the right time, and you can make the most of the holiday surges and slumps to fill your pockets with holiday cheer. And guess what? Cold, harsh, ca cold, hard cash. All right, so I hope you were able to jot down those seven things that you need to consider when doing your holiday promotions so that you get the best bang for your buck, the best return on investment for whatever it is that you decide to promote. And, and really, if you think about the holiday theme, knowing your customers, customizing your offers, being trendy, being on trend, learning from your competition, not copying, but learning from your competition and making it a timely offer and really looking at your metrics, those seven things will help you to produce or create a winning holiday offer that will make you money. All right. So that is what we wanted to talk about today because the holidays are upon us. They literally just said, Boop, here we go. No, actually, they didn't. It just, it just always feels that way because once one holiday come, they just start rolling back to back and it's like, oh my goodness. And then next thing you know, we're like, oh my gosh, where'd the year go? Because literally we have less than what, 53, 52 days left the, 52 maybe, days left of the year when you normally would have 365 to begin with. Just think about that. You still have time 
because Thanksgiving is two weeks away, but it's not the only holiday. If you don't want to do anything for Thanksgiving for Black Friday, you don't have to do anything for Black Friday. Guess what? You're a CEO. That's right. Chief Executive Officer. And you can choose what works best for your business. So if you want to do Black Friday, go right ahead. Cyber Monday, go right ahead. Christmas, go right ahead. New Year's, hey, you get you get my drift. You get to choose because it's your business. And, and no one says that you have to discount your prices, but there are opportunities that may exist during the holiday season that may not present itself throughout the rest of the year. So consider those seven things that I mentioned. Hopefully you wrote them down. Let me know if those were good, if you like them, if you want to hear more stuff like this, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. And speaking of feedback, I sent out an email previously about whether or not you want, what it is that you wanted to see for Black Friday offer. And I received mixed reviews, but mainly two things. And that's a mini membership and a group coaching program. That could be a little bit extra. I'm looking to put together both. And so it may not, it, a group coaching program may actually be starting January, 2023, but the offer will be available for Black Friday. And the mini membership is also in the works. So I'm looking forward to being able to share that with you formally in a Black Friday promotion. And in the meantime, I want to make sure that you know that I am here. And if you have any questions concerning your business and, any, and you need some help clarifying things, then certainly book a call. If you're part of the Mompreneur HQ community, you have access to a free 20-minute call with me to talk about your business goals and how, my, how I might be able to assist you with that. So go ahead and book a call at www.themompreneurhq.com forward slash clarity dash call so that you can get on my calendar and we can make things happen. It's the end of the year and you want to finish out Q4 on top, then let's get that call booked. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And until next time.